Let's take a trip down memory lane. Try and recall the times back in the summers of the 1990s when listening to our favorite music was no less than a pie in the sky. The song may sound pleasant, but getting charged for that song was not pleasant at all. Some of us even use torrent websites to download our favorite music or bought CDs from the streets. Some of us even used to get access to the music from our extended peer groups where one person having a song would distribute it to the others and the chain goes on. 2008 bought with itself a wave of change when the music streaming app Spotify introduced itself to the world. After Spotify came into existence, the business model started showing the results and in a big way. All the tech giants suddenly started rolling down subscription-based music streaming platforms. Apple launched Apple Music, Amazon Music came and so did YouTube Music. But Spotify still has double the number of users as all of the others. Why? Let's figure this out together. Spotify is something that anyone can associate with music without knowing what and how it works. Well, Spotify is an audio streaming server provider launched in 2008, founded in Sweden. But is this enough for us to know about the platform that turned the tables for the music industry across the world? In the 90s, digital music was mostly available in the form of an album on CDs which saved about 700 MB, well worth of uncompressed audio tracks. Good for a full length album, but with internet speeds being what they have been back then, it didn't make sense to replicate those music files and send them to friends over the internet. Single 4 minute music would wait in at approximately 42 MB in WAV format and would take more or less three and a half hours to download. The MP3 compression format got here with comparatively small record size, making it less difficult to rip tracks from CDs, save them on hard drives and distribute them online. That 4 minute song that I told you about, you can reduce it down to 4 MB at a suitable bitrate of 128 kbps. You know that was the beginning of digital music distribution over the internet. As internet connections improved and hard disk space became less expensive, the illegal sharing of music via the internet became increasingly familiar. With little contribution to the field of legal services or the artists themselves. Now, this made the industry of illegal music to grow up to 50% of the music industry itself. Before labels had a risk to alter the emerging model of the digital track, Napster arrived and disrupted the industry like nothing had before. Crucially, the industry at large failed to renounce the converting tides, in large part, selecting the pace their heads in the sand until they honestly felt the outcomes. The upward push of Napster and the fall of the music industry. Napster's peer-to-peer -peer utility released in June 1999. While a small variety of web customers had already begun sharing the song online 
through channels just like the internet underground music archive digital piracy clearly took off with the launch of Napster a free record sharing community that connected people around the world immediately to one another focusing on a sharing of mp3 song files and permitting customers to look for and download tracks with relative ease it became the primary extensively used track downloading provider of any type with 80 million registered customers at a top it was mainly popular for sharing records such as live sets demos unreleased mix and so on metallica dr dre and the record industry association of america all filed court cases towards napster for copyright infringement in 2000 napster lost and after failing to confirm with court orders to display and restrict ss to copyrighted track files shut down in july 2001 After Napster got here an abundance of different websites and allowing people to download the track and different copyrighted documents without spending a penny download sites including RapidShare, ZipShare and Mega Upload started taking chunks out of the record label sales as did torrent services which permits customers to download distinctive sections of one file from multiple sources without delay to permit quicker download and upload speeds Very soon, Saban reached all the heights, and several other music streaming apps made their way into the industry, like Gaana, Wink, and Hangama. Well, not just Indian apps; some international apps like Apple Music, Amazon Prime Music, Spotify, and YouTube Music also established their presence in Indian markets. This makes a total of nine music apps in India, making their way into the hearts. of all the indians but some apps did have a lot of limitations from their side in 2018 savan was the first music streaming app announced its merger with jio music and was rebranded as jio savan the deal was worth 1 billion dollar by march 2019 gana had it crossed 100 million monthly active users thus becoming the first domestic platform to gather such a number that was the same time when spotify made its way into the indian market gana also reported that the music consumption trends in the country will see an unprecedented demand and the market will grow by 600 million users in the next 3 years however When Gana crossed their active monthly users, Jio7 announced that they are reducing their annual subscription rate to 70%, which means the premium plan you were getting at rupees 999 was now available at rupees 299 only. This made people shift to Jio7 and it became more feasible for them. This was the time when Spotify made its inception in India along their light app the music streaming app focused on regional languages music and listeners when it stepped into the nation also the launch of spotify actually captured the attention of all the other music streaming services which include gana wink jio sound amazon music and so on Following the Jio Savan trends, Gana also planned to reduce their subscription rate to rupees 299 if the user is paying through PTM wallet. Now, this has actually helped penetrate the music consumers in India to the entire second and entire third cities as well, especially after reduction in the subscription prices. Also, the nation's social demographic and economic potential play a major role in publicizing music streaming platforms. These music streaming platforms are flourishing in the Indian music industry and the platforms have been witnessing a good market. The OTT music streaming industry has been growing in India 
over the years and has captured almost two thirds of the international space with a market of Rs. 850 crores. From consuming music from torrent websites or purchasing MP3 CDs from the street sites to paying a monthly subscription to listen to music. We have come a long way keeping Spotify by our sides as a savior. Spotify made a grand debut in public domain in the year 2008 and is now one of the biggest music streaming platforms in the world that leads the global market by some distance. However, it entered the Indian market in the year 2019 with its clever branding and collection of unique podcasts and playlists for India. Although, despite so many competitors already running in the race, Spotify managed to register a million users within its first week of launch. And this figure rose to 2 million by the end of one month. So, with no surprise, it will be absolutely alright to say that the arrival of Spotify marked the Indian music streaming market as a battleground of the key players. For your surprise, it was Spotify that highlighted that apart from Punjabi and international pop, music from the 90s is gaining popularity among the Gen Z and Millennials. But why Spotify is still leading the race is a question that makes sense here. Remember, Spotify is not so old in the music streaming industry and talking about Indian market especially, it came into existence last year only. Spotify is playing the big brother by putting in some clever marketing undertones and to make it more feasible and to bring more Indians on board, Spotify decided to mix it up with the music of their choice. The customized subscription prices are also gaining popularity for Indians with multi moods now. Spotify gives users the option to listen to unlimited music without ads or to subscribe with a minimal premium amount, whereas Apple and Google have paid versions only or free trials followed by the paid versions. Spotify offers bigger fee as well as bit sized plans for users that keep the app at an all time high. The ad-free paid subscription started at INR $199 per month or $1.68 is way lower than what is charged in the US. Besides the annual plan, the app also offers daily, weekly, monthly and quarterly plans for streaming services. The outbreak has broken the back of several businesses. Consumers are in hiding, demand is down to a trickle. The supply chain is broken and many sectors have been hit hard. But what about the music streaming industry? The streaming industry is also reeling under the impact of coronavirus pandemic. And to cope up with the situation, music streaming app Spotify worked with a growing list of organizations to offer financial relief to creators around the world to support the community. In September 2020, the app launched a campaign highlighting the ease of turning into music playlists for all moods and moments. For this, Spotify used everyday moments at homes in India and localized the listeners in different parts of India. Spotify also brought film industry heartthrob Naga Arjun and Anil Kapoor on board to give a more personalized feel to the listeners. You know what, in 2020, Spotify has taken it to a completely new level, giving its users the data about the music they have consumed over the last 10 years. Spotify gave a fun reminder to its listeners of what they have listened to via their rap series. In a genius move, Spotify allowed users to take it to social media boasting about their peculiar listening habits and rediscovering the music they listened to last year and of course, Spotify Wrapped has gone viral and you must have seen it on your friend's stories recently.
Spotify has revolutionized the music industry. After the piracy market grew up to billions, the first wave to change came in 2003 when after the success of the iPod, Apple launched iTunes where you could purchase music. But no one was ready to spend as low as 1 rupee to buy music because the concept of pirated music was so ingrained in all of us. But the cost addiction in the stress buster panacea known as music lead to people shifting in their music consumption to the radio. But there was one problem. They couldn't choose what they want to listen on the radio. So after multiple episodes of hiccups and events, the way was finally paid for Spotify rival and it figured out a way to make everyone happy. How? They bought licensed music from big record labels, they made money by showing ads, and the people were able to listen to quality music without paying anything. What on earth sounds better than this? Spotify is moving from being just a music streaming platform to being a full-fledged audio giant, giving credit to the artist and has big deals coming in with Kim Kardashian, DC Comics and many big artists and this is the flavor for the season for this audio giant. So that's pretty much it for how Spotify changed the way we listen to music. Thank you so much for staying till the end. Do let us know in the comment section what you have in your mind. Also, do like, share and subscribe to Bizwait for more such amazing content.